Well, I had to restart this video, and I hate having those glasses on. I really don't. I was just started off on uh, kind of giving an update and trying to give her and let you know that the mighty and the famous hobo shoestring. It's been a long time putting out. Gosh, I had to take like five or six screenshots to get that whole pissed off calling me a sissy, you know, comment in there. You know, captured on on photo. Oh gosh, it's doing that. I think every time I get my finger right close to. I'm sorry, I, I'm not trying to record you. I'm done. That's somebody passed by. I don't want to capture them on somebody with this. They had to be wearing a mask anyway. But a couple hours ago, actually, I just. I'm a little scatterbrained because I just finished about a 45 minute, 50 minute lecture to a Christian family and I was brilliant. They came to give me all sorts of gifts and stuff and things that I don't need. And it was actually the little girl who it was her idea. Uh, I took too much time, but I'm actually a very good teacher. Unlike Hobo Shoestring. I can string together more than a few words, and uh, I know how to spell boys without the uh, missing Y or something. It's... You know, Hobo, one of the things I noticed is that you actually thought that I was talk talking about hobos in New York City. No. If you go back and listen, I said the first time that I went to New York City and then up to Bangor, Maine, was the first time that I ran into hobos. I didn't say in New York City. I said in the famous, you know, uh, was it, what's the line in the song? Uh, my last boxcar midnight train, destination banger, man. I'm a man of no means, but I'm a, I'm a man, uh, <laughs> a man of means by no means means I'm poor, king of the road. You know, Hubbo Shoestring, when you spend all that time, you, I never commented on your channel. I never, you know, you came to my channel, commented on my video. I never commented on any of your videos. You might want to put it up, you know. Put it up there. It's, you know, if you take a screenshot of it and put it up there. I must have really pissed you off by pointing out that, yeah, I already said that you might have been a hobo in the past. That's still a criminal. Trespassing criminal is just a nightmare for the, the railroad companies and stuff. You know, a lot of people use the railroad to commit suicide. I've known literally a thousand cases where the person confessed that they went out and laid, you know, either just to have their feet or their lower legs cut off, amputated, so that they could get on SSI. And I'm not impressed with all your legend injuries because I've seen your recent uh, videos and stuff where you've already you're already settled down, and you're uh, stuff like that, and you're too clean, and you're you keep claiming of all the, you had these all these surgeries and stuff like that, man, shit. Dude, I can barely walk. I got one arm telling you, you're talking about you got a new arm and all this stuff. Dude, I'm still looking for a, a surgeon that's competent and experienced enough to replace an arm on somebody who was from a, <laughs> Jesus, really. You're out there spewing about your life as a gangster hobo and shit, all this stuff. 32, 35 years, which is it, you know? You don't know me. You end up there talking like a big dog, like you're going to spit beat down on me. And you think I'm stupid is the problem. Is that you want me to make another video to draw people to your channel. You've been working on this a long time, bro. And stuff. And you've had a little help or suggestion here. Are you a quick learner on how to... Oh, you maybe should have learned how to brush your teeth at least couple times a day 
You know, it's it's hard on one in the world, in the whole world. We can't brush our teeth. Uh, it's, uh, you ain't got a tooth in your head. You're not that very much younger than me, but I have trouble respecting a man of your age that barely got any gray hair on his head. Come on, man. Uh, I've watched two complete and part of one because sometimes you just like go on forever. You know, it's pretty clear. I mean, some of the people that are attacking me on there, they started on one guy. What was his name? Uh, uh, some kind of six gun slinger. You know, one of my other channels that's got about 100,000 views. I try not to pander to anybody. I don't really give a fuck about shit. This is about my life. This is not about your life, Hobo Shoestring. This is about me pointing out the fact that at the time that I was, you know, viewing or sampling some of your videos, you were too clean, your stuff was too clean, and you omit all this stuff about where you, you know, relieve yourself. You leave out a lot of stuff to, you know, and people just keep ignoring the fact that you're trespassing on a very dangerous property and you're a, a, just a headache, a liability, you and all them other hobos, you're out there fucking burning your fires near combustible shit. You made one video that he's going like, uh, the cyanide trade. You've learned the art of drama and stuff of of how to, to sell these, you know, get your voted videos viewed. I know how to do that too. One of the simplest ways to get a huge viewership or get your viewer count up is to attack somebody who is famous. Don't take that as a as a as a compliment, hobo shoestring. Because one of the first you know times that my original channel, because well, I've been on actually I think I've only been on YouTube for about six years. I, this is my third channel. My first two channels have 100,000 views. And I saw some videos of a guy who was wearing, and it was clearly his hand movements, the pill rolling, all this stuff to an educated person. It was I wasn't the only one. It was on the Cannabinoid News Network. And they took the video down after our comments. And because we, we started posting links to the fact that Kevin Jodry, they now want me to pronounce it Jodry, is a gay pedophile. At least that's what his shirt means. There's a particular symbol. It's a triangle. Let me get up here. Figure it. It's a triangle that's within. It goes around. And but the beginning triangle. It's open at the bottom, and there's triangle inside of a triangle inside of a triangle. They're trying to claim it's the Emerald Triangle of uh, Humboldt County. No, it's a very old, uh, the NAMBLA guys wear them all the time and stuff. They have that symbol on rings. They have them on caps. They have them on shirts. And for young, like male, boy, you know, prostitutes, sex workers, you know, to spot, you know, like an older male who's probably got a lot of money and looking to hook up just extremely discreetly without having to make a lot of eye, you know, the kind of guys who are really trying to fly below the radar. And Cannabis News Network deleted that video. And so I, I launched it. I tell you, when you get up there, and, and actually every video that I've seen him in, he's exhibits you know, schizoidal symptoms I, I don't really have a diagnosis on you hobo because uh, mm, you're pretty much so you probably you know rehearse at least in your mind how, what you're gonna do you speak slowly and you're focusing on not cussing even though you've been around people cussing your whole life and you're trying to design and have successfully designed, you know, a show that, you know, criminals love to 
to watch. That guy, the six-gun slinger kind of guy, he's been trying to become famous since MySpace. He's been on YouTube since day one, and yet, what has he got now? Uh, something like 3,000 views in the last 12 or 13 years on YouTube. Huh. I got mm, 3,000 views on Hobo Shoestring, real or fake. Dude, I studied all it. I don't really, you actually are, one of the reasons I even stopped to you know, and watch your videos is that you violate rule number one in Facebook. Which is, is that if you're, if you're old like us, you always put your face behind the camera. YouTube is a young crowd. Until recently, and actually before you, all, all my subscribers were 65 and older. They were local people here that find me highly enlightening and educational. And I just find it amusing that you actually took the time to come to one of my little videos and put on a what is oh, photographically like a six page rant about what well, you've been, I did all of this and I did all of this and that. And I know uh, Bobby Sue and, and the dog man and all this. Well, come on, man. You, you act like what you've been doing is something glamorous because Hollywood glamorized hoboing and jumping on trains, which is the railroad company's nightmare. They're in constant litigation by people who get onto their get injured on their right of way. If you get injured on right of way, they go for the uh, attorney. The attorney goes for deep pockets. My best friend is an attorney. My nephews are attorneys. I'm Jewish, hobo. He really shouldn't fuck with me. You don't know who the fuck I am. My brothers and I, and I've done the majority of it, really, they've, well, between them, they've got, uh, nah, I've done at least half of the, we've got 65, 68 years on television and radio. NFL, last of the Kruger brothers, and shit. My name was in a global publication by the time I was 13. I've been famous for three different things, Obo. And you're talking to me like I'm some kind of fucking uneducated piece of shit in the street. Actually, I don't mooch. I don't beg. Uh, I can't put people on the spot like that. I bet you, you probably, oh, I think you did address that. You never ask anybody for a, a change, you know, shift change schedule thing. You're bragging about, you don't, yet you brag about, it and you've already started learning how to incorporate products in your, your, you're endorsing that nasty coffee said it's even better than Starbucks. I'm a chemist. Oh, well, you shoestring. Starbucks coffee, which is right there. Chemically, it's just a nightmare. All that tannic acid. Most all god awful tasted coffee. And, you know, bleh. it's as bad as the stuff we made in like chemistry 101 using chemo chemistry filter paper. You're just so full of it. You spend days calculating. You, you film endlessly and then you edit. You know, I don't really even take the time to edit anything. I produce, I did, I had the most popular TV show here in Austin for a couple of decades and they were all shot without script. I kind of write it in my head while I'm doing other things. I kind of think about what I'm, I used to go without any notes or notations, be able to recite, you know, uh, title of the study, the journal, date of publication, and the author. And uh, give a quick synopsis, a quick abstract of the contents, and then analyze and, and comment on it. You don't know who the fuck you're fucking with. I'm the last of the Kruger brothers. Kruger's and the Olsen brothers at L.A. Kruger brothers, San Francisco, Olsen brothers, L.A. I turned down Hollywood twice, you little fucking toothless twerp. For one thing, I got, you know, I brushed my teeth. My parents were habitual teeth brushers, had great. You really just 
hilarious. I was laughing my ass off reading those. You sound like one of those angry little wet rats after you know. I'm stepping all over you, calling you a fake. You're, you're, you're a fake now. That's what I exactly said in my video. Used to be a hobo, but you're a fake now, and you're trying to present a criminal lifestyle where you're out scrambling, you know, you know, scrambling around, you know, collecting damaging shit going on to other people's property, railroad property, dangerous property, building fires, building shelters. Do you really get rid of everything that you are? Every time you set up camp, do you completely clean it up? Where the hell are you taking a, dropping a deuce in that bucket of yours? And these people on there, I saw repeated questions. Why you get, you're so tiny, you need that bucket to be able to get up into a boxcar. You're a little man. I'm twice your size. And tell me, because I've spent my life in combat on a football field and on the fields of Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Peru, Panama. And I've been attacked. I've been in so many fights. And you know who won those fights? Me. Those aren't fake. What happened to your teeth, hobo? You know, I'm going to end here with a little bit of compassion because I just gave a religious lecture, primarily religious lecture. And they were trying to be compassionate to the old guy sitting out here and brought me a blanket like I ain't already got blankets. I have all that I need and all that I want right now. I'm not a covetous person. Unlike, you know, when you start getting into merchandising yourself and stuff, it's... I know you got somebody working with, with you on that. It doesn't really matter. It's you think that I'm a complete nobody. You call me a nobody bum or whatever. And I hope you get money on begging on Times Square. Fuck who the fuck would bug it, beg on Times Square? You know, I don't get that at all. And actually, I'll, I'll, I'll finish it because I made a whole video about it one time. First time I went to New York City and then up to Bangor, that's when I started running into hobos, was 88. And what I found was that actually the people of New York City were kind of pleasant, congenial uh, conversationalists. I figured out later that really the kind of the Fort Apache, the Bronx kind of types, they'd all like moved to San Francisco and L.A., but there had been a radical shift in the population, the nature of the population. But I know New York City well enough to know that you'd have to be kind of crazy to be begging around Times Square. Uh, plus, I'm not a beggar. People like that family a little while ago, good Christian family, I mean, uh, they just came up to give me stuff because they think I need more than I have. No, I don't need more than I have right now. Thou shalt not covet. Yeah. I'm different than you, hobo. It's you really. Sometimes you, there are things known as unjust laws, like the cannabis laws and stuff. Cannabis is proven to be the best medicine on earth. But you're just a fucking criminal trespasser, building fires near, sometimes you know, with the possibility of highly flammable leaking tank cars all of a sudden pulling up beside you because you don't, as you admitted, you never uh, bought or uh, mooched a, uh, what do you call it, change, shift change schedule or something. You don't really, took you a lifetime to learn in certain areas where certain trains are coming along and stuff. I've never denied the fact that you kind of, you know, you had a whole lifetime to learn the minor science of the rail and I'm getting on, you know, but I'm going to finish it here. As I said in my response to you, which is still there, first I want to point out that I've only uh, blocked from their end because I don't want them attacking me on my other videos. I have made certain channels 
disappear. Actually, I'd get, like to get rid of all my subscribers. I wish I could do that. I've blocked most of my subscribers from commenting and stuff because I really, you know. Hobo, I kind of get it. I'm trying to show some sympathy. Empathy is a fictional word of philosophers and science fiction writers. I got a feeling you took to the road because you had a bad home and a really bad childhood. I didn't. And you're craving to be famous like the other famous hobos. Being a, a famous criminal, you're craving for fame. You know, all them actors and stuff like that, they're, they're messed up mentally. I say, I've been famous. It's really horrible to get famous. People will whisper, you'll be trying to be out eating, you know, having dine or something. People will be whispering and pointing at you and staring at you. Please, I'm actually acutely aware when anybody's staring at me. I got I kind of got that sixth sense. Oh, well, your search for fame indicates that you have a void in your soul, just like actors and politicians and stuff like that. People who seek fame out will pay for fame or other the people who desperately seek out fame always have this unfillable void in their soul. And in parts of psychology, uh, you don't have it. I don't think you have that. But in some parts of psychology, people report, people have schizo delusional disorders. They report that if they don't have a pair of human eyes on them or animal eyes on them, they feel like they disappear. You'll find that in one of my other videos. But I think you're just a toothless fake. It, you know, elbow shoestring, you're small man and small minded and probably had a really bad childhood. That's why you took to the road. And apparently never. Uh, now that you settled down, you're decided to become famous. Make a lot of money. And stuff. Pay for all them surgeries and stuff. I'm not impressed. You're not. You were. But going out, I'm just trying to tell you. As a person who was turned down Hollywood twice, I turned down MGM when I was 17 years old. Turned down Spielberg when I was 34. And the making of movies is boring as shit. That's why I don't do any takes. I don't really do any preparation. I don't script shit. I can't stand that world of Hollywood. You love it. I can tell when you set up a shot and you're all kind of... You really don't know me at all, and yet you, you're just another shit-talking hobo. You're mad at the world because, you know, you know, your mommy and daddy probably, you know, dumped you somewhere. Bad parents, bad kid, you're a criminal, hobo. Stop trying to pretend that you're some kind of glamorous, riding the rails, enjoying American freedom. No, you're thieving from a company that's investor-owned, and you're a liability to our whole, you know, you're just a liability. I wonder how many claims have had to be settled out of court by railroad companies who just don't want to fight it. They'll pony a few up a few bucks to some broke ass hobo motherfucker who gets his fingers, you know, smashed while he's fucking, you know, fucking around trying to put a penny on the tracks. Yeah, I bet you've done that too. I'm Hobo Shoestring. Look at my collection of flattened pennies that I've flattened on the tracks. This flat penny is from Banger, Maine, from the curve. I know all the famous. I'm sorry. Bragging about a life of criminality and low living and shit, you know, eating the Hormel. Now you're eating big time Hormel chili and Nathan's hot dogs and, uh, them uh, Slim Jims and stuff. And... 
You're a mess, dude. You actually, I took some time to comment on your channel because it was clear that you were too clean to be really an active, you know, at it every day kind of hobo. You're not. I don't think you ever were. So, good luck with all your pissing and moaning and calling me shit. You don't know me from Adam. It was, I did really get a chuckle out of reading your bullshit, you toothless bastard. <laughs>